you much. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the City of Angels, Los Angeles, California. The City of Angels showing it can be loud and raucous. This was the scene a moment ago as the home squad emerged from the tunnel. They're ready for football and ready to watch their Rams do battle. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25 with the Kansas City Chiefs. Now a first down throw, gone. Over the middle, that's hauled in by Cup. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 10 yards there to start the drive and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. The slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. So from the 36 now, first and 10. On first and 10, gone. And that is incomplete. He was in search of his tight end, Tyler Higby. And now it's second down. Nice play there to force the incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle, going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams think they come in bunches. And the hole closes quickly there. He gets maybe a couple up to the 38. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You foresee incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. From the gun, here's gone. And that is incomplete. And third down is a key down in any game you play. And third down defense, something we've got to watch in this one. Got to be effective on the passing downs. That's a pretty good first step right there. So on fourth down, here's Johnny Hecker to punt it away. Tyreek Hill back deep for Kansas City. Now this is going to carry well into the end zone for a touchback. Ball going back over to Kansas City. And thinking about their game last week against Cleveland, a couple guys, good homecoming games. Travis Kelsey, Kareem Hunt, both from Cleveland and played well. Did you know Superman was created in Cleveland? I did, did not, you know but that? you know everything. Did so you, know I, you can be lying. I'll, I'll just take your word for it. Oh, it's real. It. No, okay. this, this one's real. Superman okay. was created there, and these guys did their best impression, didn't they? Because Travis Kelsey caught two touchdown passes. Kareem Hunt had two on the ground and one through the air, and they laid it on Cleveland and showed the hometown fans they've still got it. Yeah, and now Kansas City, 8-1, still rolling. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. After the incompletion, they'll try once more from the 20-yard line on second and 10. Mahomes again here on second and ten. Thomas has got it. Complete. Pretty nice move, but not a ton of space there. They stop him shy of the 25. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. Now they'll try to convert on third and six after the four-yard completion. Working from the gun, Mahomes, and it's complete to Kelsey. And he's able to get it to the 33, good enough for a first down. His first catch, good for nine and a first down. When the offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from, tight ends know that they become a big part of the passing game because they should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. He didn't even try to signal for a timeout, so they must have not been aware of the numbers. I think he lost track of the time left in the play clock and probably was trying to read the defense and trying to figure out which play to run and just lost track, and it cost him. So a little bit of a stiffer challenge now. First and 15 following the delay of game. 
Mahomes to throw once more. That one caught by Tyreek Hill. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. The Chiefs have got the passing game rolling a bit. And another first down. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups. And they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. First carry now for Kareem Hunt. And no room that time, getting it to about the 46. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Here's a carry for the former Dolphin. It's Damian Williams. And he works his way forward for about four up to the midfield stripe. And that's one of the reasons you like to blitz even on rundowns. It confuses the blocking assignments. It doesn't allow those offensive linemen to get up to the second level. So third and five, defensively expecting pass. They've got six DBs out there. From midfield, here's Mahomes. And he's going to be wrapped up and driven down. Samson Abukum in there to drop him for a six-yard loss, and that'll lead to a fourth down. And when you go five wide like they just did there, you can't really max protect, can you? No, you cannot. What you're hoping is that by going five wide, you're forcing the defense into coverage. And if you do that, you got a chance to find some people downfield. But if they audible themselves and go into a blitz, then it's got to happen right now. Or very lights quickly. out. <laughs> or exactly right. Turn them out. That play's over. Now, the Los Angeles Rams, they continue to be a great story this season. A solid, solid team. That wonderful start, although they did lose week nine, obviously, to New Orleans. So the 72 Dolphins celebrated again. Yeah, they got a chance to hug it out and still be the last team to go undefeated in modern football. 17 and 0, that team was. But let's face it. No one shedding any tears for the Rams after that loss to New Orleans. They still have weapons galore on offense. A stout defensive front led by Aaron Donald leading their division. They're aiming for the playoffs as all their moves in the offseason and during the season picking up Dante Fowler Jr. to rush the passer. They're shooting for the Super Bowl. Similar to a slant, it's all about timing when you're throwing a crossing route. Quarterback and receiver have to be in sync, and when they put it on them just right and catch it full speed, running through a defense, can often result in a big pickup of yardage. On first down, it's Gurley. And a short gain down to about the 33. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. When we see those runs to the perimeter, when we see those runs to the edge, we think about big breakers, don't we? In this case, it was a modest gain, but it does open up possibilities here on second down. To throw on second down is Goff. And he's going to be taken down. Goff is sacked. Justin Houston in there to drop him. And it'll be a loss of about eight. Enough takes a start to have a good drive. Quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? No, now they're looking at a third and long. And suddenly, the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. So Goff, he'll try to refocus after the sack. The Rams now set up with a tough one, a third and long. Goff, try to lay one up deep. Now that'll be tipped and intercepted. Picked off by the free safety, Eric Berry. And he brings it back to right around the 26-yard line. Now they told us repeatedly earlier in the week in our meetings, we need some plays from our defense here on the road early. They got one. And don't think they were above all week long pointing out to their defense that the other defense is rated higher than them. You gonna let that happen, guys? Is that how we're going to play? And they responded to the challenge. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. 
Also, hey. if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. They lost four there, and it's third down. We all have habits. We can be somewhat predictable. You know me pretty well on second down and short. What I like to say, play action. Yeah, without a doubt, I thought that was a great spot to call it. Instead, didn't go their way, did it? No, defense sold out for the run. Worked out well. Green, green, 39. Green, 39. Snap coming at one, and it's Mahomes. And this is going to be incomplete. I'm not sure we could spot any tendency here on this third down. They could have run it or passed it. Either one was available. They chose to try and get it through the air, but they run successful. Here's Dustin Colquitt now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. Fielded at the 20. 12 yards on the return that time. And the Rams will go on offense here with the first and 10. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. And this is a unit that, to be frank, doesn't look like they've woken up yet. I mean, a punt and a turnover on their first two drives. And I think the game's starting to take shape a little bit now. And I'm going to take it into the basketball world. When you're having trouble scoring or moving the ball in basketball, what do they do? Get it to their best player, right? Find a matchup, create it, exploit it, and try and move the football. They'll try and start the drive with Gurley. And he'll work this one up to about the 38. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. And that was a good run. This is only one of nine guys to go over 1,000 yards in 2017. And I think you can't let him run wild here. What do you think, 100 yards, the measuring stick? Always. That is the threshold. You want to keep him under that if you want to play good defense. Now on second down, this is Gurley. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. It goes as a gain of eight that moves the chains. Well, one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line. If they keep clearing holes like that, it could be a long night defensively. No doubt about it, because when they are in sync, as we're seeing so far, when that continuity is there, and you can see that they're playing off of each other while controlling the defensive front linebackers, you're exactly right. It could be a very long night for the defense because someone's going to run for some big yardage. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. The all-pro safety, Eric Berry, in on the stop. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. Here's gone. And his throw is incomplete. That time trying to find Gerald Everett at its third down. Sometimes the coverage is so good, no matter what you're doing on offense, you just can't shake anyone free. They try their best to find someone open, but they took away every passing alley, every angle, and shut the play down. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. From the 50, it's gone. Man open, it's cut. He's got it. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. That goes as a gain of 36 on third down. You know I'm going to lean towards the defender, right? You know I'm going to do that. I know. That's a tough situation for him as I see it. But the truth of the matter is, that ball was not streaking towards him. That little arc on it, he's got to find a way to get his head around and make a play on the football. From the red zone now, gone. And he is caught at the seven-yard line. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll get this one back to the five-yard line, but no further than that. Not enough there for a first. No gain, as a matter of fact. And it leaves them at third and one. Well, at least he was able to break that initial contact, or it could have been a loss. Yeah, give credit to the defensive player, though. What did he do? Made him slow down, slow up his feet, and allowed the rest of the guys to get there to finish him off. 
Goff wants to throw on third and one. This will be caught at about the six. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. If you're a selfish player and you're throwing the ball, you're cool with the completion. Maybe not so cool with the yardage loss, though, huh? Yeah, you went, you went backwards on the yardage. Hey, it kind of works like a sack for the defense there. Yeah, it's a really big play for them, right? Able to figure it out, sniff it out, and finish it off. And Zerline's kick is good. And the Rams have the first points here. It's 3-0. So three drives now for this offense, and that field goal gives them their first three points. So if you're an offensive coordinator and you're averaging a point a drive, you're in the wrong line of work, aren't you? <laughs> you got to find a way to yeah. unlock the key to these defenses and put some big points on the board. After the main field goal, Zerline back out there now to send this one away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And now here comes Kansas City. They've had it twice. They punted twice, not the start they were hoping for. Not at all, and let's face it, every facility we visit, everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice, so they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. Line of scrimmage, again the 25, second and 10. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he's got some space here. And he'll wind up with about six, up past the 30 to the 31. Despite the blitz, they're still able to cook up a nice, solid game. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. Back now with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon as the Chiefs in possession of the football as we begin the second quarter. They'll come up on a third and four here to start things out. Three, three, 90. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. And down he goes on the pressure from the Rams defense. Mark Barron able to get him down for a loss of 11 on the play. And it'll be fourth down. Here's Dustin Colquitt now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And he couldn't get it to check up. That kicks all the way into the end zone for a touchback. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point the kicker. Exactly. <laughs> you put it through the post, that's going to help him at contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him at contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. Toe bash. I don't know about toe that. Bash. <laughs> Super tall. <laughs> now the first play of the drive there is incomplete. But Charles, we got a second here. Let's do an MVP check-in right now at this point in the season. Is Patrick Mahomes your headliner? He is for me. Uh, look, second year playing, one start as a rookie, and what he's done so far, it's been absolutely spectacular. Magnificent oh, consistency. Hasn't had any real dips. Now, before the season, you know I was focused in on Todd Gurley, and he continues to power the Rams' attack. He has to be in the conversation. Drew Brees, how many completions does he throw per game? One or two? It's <laughs> unbelievable with his accuracy. Tom Brady is still Tom Brady and wins big games. Phillip Rivers, with a strong second half, could get into the conversation, but keep a real eye on the NFC South. Matt Ryan, ahead of his MVP pace of 2016. Cam Newton in Carolina. If they end up winning that division, you better take a hard look at him. This is caught. It's Cooks. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. 
there will always be a place for methodically marching the ball downfield. But when you can pick it up in big chunks and strike like that, have explosive plays, that's often the difference in winning and losing. Those types of plays that can knock a defense off balance, that'll drive a team towards a victory. Goff turns and gives to Gurley. And he'll take it across the 50 and into Chief territory. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Here's Goff now on second down. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. Seems like this defense, especially the secondary, has really been contesting about every throw in this first half. Remind me of a good half-court defensive basketball team. Every time a pass is thrown, they're right there in good, good defensive position, able to affect the play. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. A shotgun snap for gone. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. He got 29 yards that time. And that's how you pick up a first down. Not only does he make the catch, but has enough body control to get his feet down inbounds, toe tapping and dragging to make sure he gets it done. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Back to the ground game here, Gurley. He will push his way down to about the 14. It was Reggie Ragland who got him down. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. And what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. Now a play fake, and it's gone. And it's complete. He's got him in the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. Tyler Higby, a 14-yard touchdown. And the Rams add on to their lead. Sometimes those tight ends are a mismatch. They found the mismatch there. And that's exactly why you want to drop those types of plays, because coverage is just going to go to the natural guys, the guys that make the big plays on the outside. But if you work your tight end into it, that's a tough one for a defense to handle. Tough. They couldn't handle it. It worked out for six. Now Greg Zerline on for the extra point. Zerline connects on the extra point, and the lead grows to 10-0. Zerline out now to kick this one away. Tyreek Hill on the return. Then he'll take this across the 25. Couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. And out come the Chiefs now. The results for them so far not that great. Well, not good at all. Three drives, three punts. Yeah, and now what you're doing is you're looking at your play sheet trying to figure out what you're going against defensively. I wonder, are they showing them something they haven't seen or anticipated in practice and maybe that's throwing them off? Or do they just have to go to a different oh, play calling Three, section and try and run some Three, offense that way? On first and 10, here's Mahomes. The tight end Kelsey has it over the middle. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. Now a play fake here on first down. He's going to loft one deep left side into a double team, and it's intercepted. LaMarcus Joyner with a pick. 
And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Oh, man, Brandon, not a real good throw that time. It looked like he tried to put a little too much air under this one, and it turned into a floater. And defensively, this is a dream. He could have fair caught that one. That was way too easy. The pass rush specialist, D Ford, in on the stop. They just keep trying, but so far, finding no room for him to run. Not none whatsoever. In fact, you run the numbers. He's under three yards a carry at the moment. On second down, here's Goff. He'll throw underneath for Gurley. And he'll lose yardage here, back to the 15. So he loses three yards there. Now third down. Really good defensive effort. They were all over that little swing pass out to the right side, but for lost yardage. Terrific read, better execution, and done with a lot of enthusiasm, wasn't it? Absolutely. They saw it all the way, ran to the football, and caused a nice play for lost yardage. Throwing on third, golf. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. The beauty of being able to play a zone defense when you can sit back and see the ball coming out of the quarterback's hands, guess what? Creates a lot of confusion, kind of a muddle in the middle of the field where you can go make a play on the football. Here's Johnny Hacker now, standing just about on his own goal line. A big kick, 50 yards that time with a return of four. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. Now the Chiefs offense, they get ready to head on the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. Go You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense mm -hmm. at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack him here. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards. It moves the sticks. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Mahomes now 6 of 10 of this first down. He's got his guys a first down here. Mahomes going to hand it off to Hunt. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. The tackle there by Mark Barron. Well, they had that one sniffed out. Excellent run blitz. Stopped that one for a short game. What makes a good run blitz a good run blitz? The ability to stay on task, to follow up your assignment, go to the gap you're supposed to cover, and not be deterred by anything else. There we go now. Green, 39. Play fake there to Hunt. Now Mahomes. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. It's easy to see when we review this that the ball needs to come out quicker because if you don't throw it right on the break, you bring a crowd of people into the equation. And that's why it got knocked away there. The Chiefs on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and nine. Here we go now. Green, 90. Green, 90. Hot, hot, hot. Mahomes going to throw. And that is incomplete. I tell you, Brandon, this defense is playing with some confidence. Haven't allowed a point yet. Flying to the football. I'm telling you, it's almost 11 to the ball on every snap. Another nice job there to force an incompletion. Here's Dustin Colquitt now. He's been one of their few bright spots so far. Now the Rams offense, they worked their way back on the field. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. They'll start out on the ground with Gurley. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And that'll make this a second and 13. Here we go. 
So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. They'll run it now out of the gun. Nifty move. And now running right through it. And they'll bring him down here up at about the 22-yard line. It'll be a pickup of 13 on the play, and that'll make it third and one. Look, the first down marker is out there, but sometimes it's hard to find for an offense when they're in a long yardage situation, which usually means throw the football. In this case, they went against the tendency and ran it, and boy, the reward was there. A big, big pickup, and guess what? It's now third and very short in order to try and pick up a first down. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. First down, L.A., golf finding Higby. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. Goff now, 10 of 17 throwing the ball. He's got a first and 10. We got three, we got three, fellas, we got three. We go, tonight. Now Goff will hand this one to Gurley. And he is gonna be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Uh, it's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that, got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. Under four to go now as the clock runs, and they come up on second down. Out of the gun, gone. To the sideline, and it's caught. Good boy, he's out of bounds. Now they try to get him into space coming out of the backfield, but it'll be third down. Didn't have a receiver open downfield, and as it turned out, couldn't even find his outlet, man, because of the coverage. It's way too tight, unable to find anyone open. The Rams on third down. They're at 50%, four for eight. This is third and 11. From the gun, here's gone. And some room to roam now. And they pick up 25 as they convert on third. A couple of first downs on the drive already as they'll go from the 47 now on first down. They go play action here on first down. Looking deep downfield. And nearly picked off there. Almost intercepted. Instead, second down. But depending on the team, they call that an explosive play or a chunk play, the one that they got on the previous one. They tried to go back and get another one, didn't they? They did, but unsuccessful on that second attempt. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Here goes tonight. 20. Back to throw, gone. And incomplete there, a nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. I know at times people think we use it too often, but you've got to be able to throw guys open. And when you read zone, you've got to stick it in there before your receiver gets to the next guy in the zone. Otherwise, you bring him into the play. And that's precisely what allowed that defense to disrupt the pass. From the gun on third down, golf. Wide open receiver complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A really nice gain of 25 yards. So in the second quarter, he's already up over 100 yards receiving now. And isn't 100 the magic number for a really good game for a receiver? So he got a chance to really shatter that and have a profound effect on this game. Now the rookie from Tennessee, John Kelly. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play as we have reached the two-minute warning. The rush defense stout on first down. Here's second and 10 from the 20. Now it's gone. We got a man over the middle. It's Woods. 
And they'll get this down to the 10. 18 yards there, and it'll be a first and goal. And with that completion, he's now north of 200 yards here in the first half. Boy, a tough start for the secondary defensively. It is, and it's got to put a dent in their confidence. And, you know, you always want to keep that up and feel like you can always bounce back after plays. But with the kind of numbers he's putting up here, it's starting to wear on them a little bit, I think. So they're looking at each other and trying to figure out what defense will work. And this is caught. He's got it. Touchdown, L.A. Brandon Cooks from 10 yards out. And the Rams add on to their lead. Well, that's about as quick of a passing touchdown as you'll ever see right there. Everyone has a section in their playbook called the quick game. That was a super quick game. Out of the hands of the thrower, bam, right to the receiver, successfully for a touchdown. How in-depth is that quick game part of the playbook? It's pretty in-depth because people want the ball in the hands of the quarterback into the playmaker's hands downfield as fast as possible. There are a lot of plays, a lot of options involved with that. Zerline now for the PAT. Zerline good with a PAT. And that makes our score 17-0. Zerline out now to kick this one away. Tyreek Hill set to return it. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. And now here comes Kansas City. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. Well, you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm. A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. Mahomes now on first down. Thomas has got it. Complete. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. Give him a couple on the catch. It's second and eight. On second down, here's Mahomes. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. Damian Williams, the man he was looking for. And that'll make it third down. This defense has been very disruptive early on as they force another one to go awry. Seems to be the front and the back in pass rush. They've been able to get home, and they're taking the ball away in coverage as well. I love how you put it together. The front and back working in sync. Only way to play good defense. Here we go. Green, 90. Throwing is Mahomes on third. This is complete to Watkins on the slam. And now the Rams are going to halt things as they want a timeout as he'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Here's Dustin Colquitt now. He's been terrific so far. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. And that one hits a little too close to the goal line. And it continues into the end zone for a touchback. And the Rams now coming out on the field. And we'll see how this is played. Offensively, they've got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What do you think, Charles? Well, it's tempting to try and add to your lead. But a mistake there, that can change things in a big way. I say go ahead, take the knee. Get on out for the half. Goff on first down. Looking to for Woods, and it's intercepted. Picked off by David Amerson. And they have possession, and they have it at the 38-yard line. Oh, well, timing is everything on a route like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight spot. And if you're a little early or a little late, chances are there's going to be someone there. And sure enough, this one's going the other way. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Mahomes now 
9 of 16 through the air as he's got it first and 10. Here's Mahomes to throw. That's caught. It's Thomas. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. De'Anthony Thomas, 28 yards. And the Chiefs are able to cut into this lead. The way this one was going, you just got the sense they needed something before half. They've at least got something on the board now. Still trailing, but a good sign. That takes me back to our preseason tour of NFL camps. You remember we, we talked with that one coach who said his emphasis this year was scoring in the last two minutes yep. of a half, heading into the locker room. This hits it right there. Take that momentum, take that good feeling, and take it to the locker room, regroup, and start over. They got it here. They did indeed. A lot of football, full half to be played. Butker now to kick this one away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And all that worked, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. So now here are the Rams as their offense comes back out. And we'll see how this is played. Offensively, they've got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What do you think, Charles? Well, it's tempting to try and add to your lead. But a mistake there, that can change things in a big way. I say go ahead, take the knee, get on out for the half. Now a handoff for Gurley. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. So we come upon halftime here in Southern California with the Rams on top as we send you cross country to Orlando. Jonathan Coachman is there and has our EA Sports halftime report. Well, the Rams going to get the football first here and they look to build on their lead as the second half gets started. And no run back here. This will be a touchback and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll begin the drive with Hunt. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. You know, despite the score line, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road in just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made. And that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. And he'll get this one up to the 26. Give him two on that run, and they're still left looking at a third and about nine to go. Tough first half for him, unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing. But with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Going deep here for Watkins, and that's caught inside the 35. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Sammy Watkins, 74 yards. And the Chiefs are able to get this back within a touchdown. Butker on for the PAT. Point after, right down the middle. And the lead's down to a field goal at 17-14. Butker now to kick this one away. On the return, it's Farrow Cooper. And a nice job there as he gets this one up just shy of the 35-yard line at the 34. 
Now the attention turns back to the Rams' offense as they get ready for their first possession of the second half. Goff will lead the Rams up here, first and 10 at the 34. To throw is gone. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Well, with that incompletion, Charles, I, I want to revisit our preseason Super Bowl picks. Must, must we? Well, we're getting closer and closer toward the playoffs. So we have to who, revisit who did you have? You had the Falcons. I had Atlanta. But you couldn't predict all those injuries the Falcons couldn't had. Couldn't predict all the injuries. And heading into their open week, they had won two in a row and then beat Washington after the open week. So it all is not lost, but still not enough guys are out that maybe it's not the best prediction. But I did have Pittsburgh, yeah. I believe, on the AFC side, and they are really starting to come on. Sadly, I don't even remember who I had. I, <laughs> I think it's going to sound like, oh, yeah, revisionist history. I think I had Rams and Patriots, so I'm going to stick that, with that. That actually sounds familiar to me. <laughs> I, I do believe you did have Rams in New England, and you are on track with those two teams. So on the heels of the run by Todd Gurley, another first and ten from the 50 it's gone he couldn't quite hold it got hit ball pops out incomplete well the numbers have been good in the passing game and certainly a big reason why they have the lead but now here third quarter maybe go to the run game a little more yeah perhaps I mean after that incompletion a little credit to the defense for shutting them down on that play maybe you try and run the football a little bit more in this spot but they have to feel good about how they've been throwing it overall he had another carry here tonight for Gurley and he has met at the line of scrimmage and he goes down right there no gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. Doubling this guy has to be a priority before moving up to the next level because the big fella, he just ate that one alive, just stuffed it. In fact, before the game, he was talking to us, and he's like, hey, these pants make me look fat? And we said, nah, man, you're just a whole lot of guy. He is at well over 300 pounds. He's a big man. Here's gone. He's letting it fly for Cooks. And a shot taken on third down, unsuccessful. Fourth down now. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? Zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. And he gets this away, and look at this. This is a good one. Out now the Chiefs offensive unit ready to do battle again. And they were good last time out with a touchdown drive. This go around, it's not going to be very easy starting from inside their own five. But they shouldn't be daunted by it. You work on this the entire offseason. You work on it in practice. It's called coming out session. Start the ball inside the five, start on the five on the ten. They should be ready to go. Here's a carry for the fullback. That's Anthony Sherman. And trying to push forward, but he is going to be stuffed up in the backfield. Call it a loss of two on the play. And it'll be second and 12. After a play like that, there should be congratulations all the way around, I think, because if you can stop a big fullback like that, that's not easily done. Yeah, he does not go down easily. You're right, but he did there. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Now it's Hunt. They'll try to get forward, but he's going to be stopped at his tracks at about the three. Ndamukong Sue makes the tackle. Now they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, hey! barring a conversion here on third down. A quick hitter to Sherman, the fullback. Trying to keep those big legs churning, but he's going to go down in the backfield. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and that's going to make it fourth down. Here's Dustin Colquitt now, as he'll come on to kick for a sixth time tonight. It'll be a net of 
40 yards following a punt of 44. And the Rams are going to start this drive in great field position as they take over. First and ten, gone. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Woods. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. And a nice gain of 21 yards. Quarterbacks love slant routes because the receivers are breaking right into their line of vision. And receivers love them as well because they're getting the ball on the move and able to catch it and try and get upfield and gain additional yardage. Just beating the play clock is gone. And this is incomplete. That one didn't quite make it to the target, but that's not always a function of the strength of the arm of the quarterback, is it? Sometimes there's just too much pressure there. In any case, the ball doesn't arrive. So now they'll come up on second and 10, once again from the 28. Back to the air, Goff on second down. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds, incomplete. Brandon Cooks, the receiver he was going after. And it'll bring up third down. Now, not to get too overcritical there, because he knows what he's doing, but his shoulders looked a little off kilter there when he threw that. I don't think you're being overly critical there. You're just analyzing it, and he gets those shoulders right. That pass will go from incomplete to complete. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. And he's going to go down here. A sack. They push him back to the 34. Justin Houston in there to get him for his second sack of the night. There's a little bit of defense right there. Nickel set, five defensive backs. They just snuffed out every route that was going. Quarterback never got rid of the football. And for the second time tonight, this field goal unit comes out here. From the left hash, this will be a 52-yard attempt. And Zerline's kick is good. And they stretch the lead to six. It's 20-14 to 14 now. These kickers now, it used to be that a 50-plus yarder was cause for celebration, now seemingly automatic. Yeah, isn't it funny? When we prepare for a game, when you look at the backgrounds of these kickers, it's interesting, isn't it, to find out they were all-state quarterbacks, receivers, defensive backs, all-state wrestlers, right? Baseball players. We're finding athletes all along, and now they're just specialists putting it through the posts. After the main field goal, Zerline back out there now to send this one away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30 to the 33-yard line. The Chiefs offense now making their way back onto the field. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now with the game this close, You've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. To begin the drive, here's a handoff to Hunt. Oh, and now he bowls him over. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. A gain of three, second down. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. And his throw here is incomplete. D'Anthony Thomas, the intended receiver, and it's third down. All right, that one fell incomplete there, but the best quarterbacks, they'll miss on 40% of their throws somewhere in that neighborhood, similar to a great hitter in baseball who's going to fail seven out of ten times and still have a great year. In this case, you want perfection, but way better that it hits the ground instead of going to an opposite color jersey. On play action, it's Mahomes. And this is going to be incomplete. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he led him just a little bit too much, trying to get it out to his receiver. 
Ends up falling to the ground incomplete. Here's Dustin Colquitt now as he's on to punt for Kansas City. Oh, here come the Rams and they get it. It's blocked. Well, we say it all the time. Offense, defense, don't forget about special teams. Big punt block there. And how many coaches have told us if we make a big play on special teams, if we find a way to score, whether it's on the play or later, 90-plus percent of the time, we win the game. Just don't hold him to those numbers. No. Right? And it's complete. He's got him in the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. Brandon Cooks, his second touchdown of the night. And the Rams add on to their lead. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors. But that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. A shotgun snap for goal. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Protection was great. He had time to set up a campsite. But in the secondary, though, they were ready. And I think that in most places on the field, if you have that much time to throw the ball, someone's going to shake free and you'll find an open receiver. But condensed near the goal line on a two-point conversion, all that exit, you know, there's not any extra field. So it kind of closes in on them, and that allows you to cover a little bit better. Zerline out now to kick this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And the Chiefs now getting set to go. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll start with Hunt on the ground. And it's been like this all night long. Nowhere to run as they stop him behind the line. This will be a two-yard loss on the play. And that'll make it second and 12. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Snap coming at one, and it's Mahomes. And he's going to dump this off to his running back, Hunt. No gain on that one, and it's going to bring up a third down. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. From the gun on third down, Mahomes. Now he's going to go deep down the left side. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. So they decline it as that will bring up fourth. And I know that yardage and field position are keys to any game played. But you've got to consider downs when you're talking about penalties. And they wisely did not take that one and made it fourth down. Here's Dustin Colquitt now. Remember, though, he did have one blocked earlier. Pulled in at the 24. Give him 11 yards that time on the return. And possession will switch hands first and 10. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. Goff will lead the Rams up here, first and 10 at their 35-yard line. They go play action with Gurley. Now Goff. Over the middle, complete. It's Woods. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. First play of the drive going for 14 and also going for a first down. I think it all came together there in breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. 
Money throw right there to move the sticks. Goff now. A perfect 8 for 8 to start the second half. Not bad. First and 10. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. 17 yards on the pick up there. The drive will continue. It's a first down. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. Here's Goff. And this is going to be incomplete. Robert Woods, the intended receiver that time. And that'll bring up second down. Let's face it, perfection is something we all chase, whether it's playing this game or whatever we do. Hard to attain, but that's what they were searching for as that pass goes incomplete. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Call it no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. Well, he didn't make headway on that one, but he's had plenty of carries all night long. I just wondered if maybe he's a little bit tired from toting the rock that much. And an extra DB here for the Chiefs on third down. Pass situation. Goff now to throw. And he's going to go down here, a sack. They push him back to the 34. Allen Bailey in there to drop him for a loss on the play. I remember when I was a kid and all I wanted was a nickel so I could get that soda down at the fountain. And guess what? The nickel came into play well. Five defensive backs, they covered well, allowed for the sacks. Sodas were a nickel when you were a kid? No, I just needed the extra nickel so, oh. I, could pay the, so I could pay the proper price. Okay, how much were they? A dime? <laughs> what were they? Uh, 15 cents. And that's off the right upright, and it bounces away no good. And this score will stay right where it is. So distance, not the issue there. He had plenty of leg to get it there. It's that darn upright getting in the way. Always gets in the way of a good time, doesn't it? Because he hit it square, too. Sometimes you can bank one in if you get it on the end of the football. No such luck there for him. And because they couldn't hit the long field goal, they are set up nicely offensively at the 41, first and 10. Looking to throw is Mahomes. He's going to look deep for Watkins. So they took a shot on first down, but couldn't connect. Sure, that pass was incomplete as they made an attempt to get a big one downfield. But that's okay because the second part of that is if you don't get the completion, at least you've told the defense you're trying to stretch them out a little bit, and they may have to change accordingly. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. There we go now. Blue 45. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. Give him four on the ground there. They're now left with third and six. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Ready, blue 45. From the gun, it's Mahomes. And able to catch it on the left sideline, but they're going to rule him out of bounds. So it'll be incomplete, certainly one they'd like to have back as it brings up fourth down. A third down, he tried to stay in bounds, did all he could. He caught it, but was led a little bit too far. Yeah, that's always difficult, isn't it? Because you know half of your body is trying to stay behind while the other half is reaching out, trying to catch the football. The top half worked. It was the bottom half that was in question. And this will hit just beyond the goal line as it's into the end zone for a touchback. The Rams offense now making their way out to take over. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, OK, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their like offensive me. guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, this a time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, 
Less of a field goal attempt for him. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Third quarter, and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. Now second and seven from the 23. A play fake to Gurley. Now gone. Over the middle. That's held in by Cup. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. A good pick up there at 22. Back now in Los Angeles. It's the Rams out in front here. They've got control of the football as well as we get set for the fourth quarter. On the handoff, it's Gurley. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Brandon, this is clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. Here's Goff now on second down. And he will find his man on the end route, complete. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. His fifth catch tonight, and it's good for a first down. Another nice pick up through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect him to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Here comes a 20th carry for Gurley. And he'll get four here down to the 35-yard line. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely. You want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. And the play clock is going to run out here. They're in no hurry to get a playoff. He didn't seem in a rush. I guess they just didn't know where the play clock was. I think you're right about that because there was no hurried movements there, right? No up-tempo at all. Clock just ran out. I think he was as surprised as maybe his bench was. Following the penalty, it's Gurley. And hell running right through it. So he got free of one tackle, but couldn't do a whole lot else. And five yards on the carry there, and it leaves him with third and about six yards to go. Bottom line, they want to keep this clock rolling, so they'll take that one right there. They just want to keep falling forward, and they want to put the onus on the big fellas up front in order to bring this one home. Well, they need to get to the 29 if they want to pick up a first here on third down. From the gun, here's gone. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he's able to pick up the first before he's taken down at the 27. They right, call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. down gone throwing over the middle but it's incomplete he was looking for Todd Gurley and it's second down the touch and time are critical for those types of throws he put a lot of zip on that one needed just a little bit more finesse trying to get it to his back second and ten now from the 27 Here's Gurley. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. It'll wind up being a loss of two. And they'll be facing a third and 12. Get 
Out of the gun. Golf. Now that'll be caught by Cup. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And that pickup of a first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? That's so frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or takeaway. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. Now a first down throw. Gone. And he just throws this one away. Smart decision here this close to the end zone, and it brings up second down. Let's give this defense some credit now. They let the guys get downfield, but when push came to shove, they stood their ground, and now they'll likely force a field goal attempt. They'll go again here from the 10-yard line on second and goal. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes in bounds. They'll wind up getting seven on the completion, but they'll still be faced now with a third and goal situation. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. To the air again, goal. And this is caught. He's got it. Touchdown, L.A. Four touchdown passes now for Jared Goff. And the Rams add on to their lead. They were still throwing with a comfortable lead here late, and now that lead even more comfortable. And your first thought is, is there bad blood that went into this one ahead of time that maybe they're seeking some revenge or they just don't like them? But the other thing that always hits me is, are they worried about playoff positioning, right? Are they worried about, do you need enough points in case there's a tiebreaker that comes into play later? Now Zerline on to add the extra point. Zerline connects on the extra point, and that will make this a 19-point game. Zerline out now to kick this one away. Here's the dangerous Tyreek Hill. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. And now here comes Kansas City. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's not a team anymore. I just cut him, all right? So you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. Oh, poor punter. Yeah, he, it, it, it wasn't his fault. But so, hey, listen, if got, there have got to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. And Thomas has it. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. A gain of six there on first. Decent start to the drive, but let's face it, they need a lot of things to go right in a short amount of time down three scores. Yeah, they're going to run their two-minute offense here in this game, but this is for future games. Can they get better and be ready for the next time, hopefully with a chance to win? Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's three, second and four. Three, Working from the gun, Mahomes. That's out to Hill, right side complete. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Here we go. Green, 90. Mahomes looks to throw on third down, and he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. Anytime a defense can sit back in a zone like that, 
it tends to create a lot of congestion in the middle of the field. Makes it very hard to slot one in. Looked like I-4 at rush hour in your hometown of Orlando, Florida. An absolute mess. A critical one here if they're going to have any shot at this thing. So they'll go for it on fourth down. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And the Rams have got it back. And they're going to come up empty here on fourth down. All right, you've had to put up with me in this booth. I'm going to try and be simple this time and succinct. It simply has not been their night. No, I think that fumble's kind of indicative of how this whole evening's gone, isn't it? Without a doubt. I mean, they've, they've tried, <laughs> but nothing has ever really taken throughout the game. That's why they're down so big. David Amerson able to bring him down. Well, that's a pretty good drive starter right there. And I don't know, partner, if you're even thinking about sitting on the ball right now. They may just want to run their regular offense. In plus territory. And, and as an offensive coordinator, you don't want your team to go into a shell, do you? No, you really don't. Because as soon as you take your foot off the gas, it's real hard to put it back on and mash it. Because once everyone's emotions come down, hard to start them up again. So I think you may want to keep them cranking high right here. And down inside the 15 he goes. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. Well, that looked like an example of what you said back in the first half. A running back of his size can really wear down a defense. I think he's starting to do that. I think you're exactly right. And know what else he's doing? He's inspiring the rest of his team because they see this starting to happen as well. So that means they're going to redouble their efforts to help him out. Extra blocking, getting downfield, helping him out. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. And in this situation with the lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're going to see that loading the box in a big way. Six, seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take. Puts a little bit more pressure on your big offensive line. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And here he'll get it down to the seven. And they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. Let's not quibble about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-get situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Goff on third down. He'll throw underneath for Gurley. And he will have the first down before he's brought down at the three. Give him a gain of four, able to convert, and that sets up first and goal now. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. Back to throw, gone. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. It's always a battle. Who's going to win on first down, the offense or the defense? Let's face it, if you've got the ball, four yards or more on first down is what you're aiming for. They tried to throw for it there. Nice effort to knock that one away and bring up second down. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. They'll come out in the pistol. Kelly to try to punch it in. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. They'll wind up losing three. And now it's third down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense. Countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big time play for their defense. Now Goff on third and goal. And that is incomplete. Not too many missteps in the red zone thus far. He was going for his fifth touchdown pass. His man couldn't shake free there, but boy, you know he's going to take another shot before this one's over. Yeah, exactly, because you know three is good, four is excellent. <laughs> you get five, that's a whale of a game. Now it's Zerline to try the Ram field goal. From the left hash, a chip shot here. And Zerline's kick is good. And that will extend their lead now up to 22. So it's three more points, and that widens this thing out even further here in the fourth. And you know in this league, you can never have enough points. But this widens it out, as you said. And now it's all about ball control, isn't it?
half and the main field goal Zerline back out there now to send this one away. The dangerous Hill now to return. And a nice job there as he gets this one up just shy of the 35-yard line at the 34. And now here comes Kansas City. And the turnover last time, that's sort of been symptomatic of their struggles here in this one. Big word. I like it, though, yeah. because you're exactly you right. You like that, don't you? All game long, they've struggled moving the ball, turning it over on the last possession. Is that word again, symptomatic? Yeah. yeah. I like that. Your analysis, symptomatic three, of the success of this three, broadcast. Nine, what I like three, is nine, that you gave me the word, and I just kept using it. <laughs> they start the drive on the ground. It's Williams. And he'll rumble for about five, up close to the 40. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. Now Mahomes throwing on second down. The tight end Kelsey has it over the middle. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. A good pick up there of 20 yards. front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? A little antsy on the left side of the line. Yeah, I think they got the guy in the end. I think they got the DN there on that one. And let's face it, he is so amped up. Wanting to get a good get off on the snap. Jump too quickly. So a first and five now after the five-yard penalty from the neutral zone infraction. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Two big plays in succession, and Kansas City's on the move. To throw, it's Mahomes. Throw left side, taken in by Hill. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. A gain of six there on first. Now it's Mahomes again. Gonna go down. They sack him back right around the 30. Oh, and after the sack, he's still down on the field. Well, he gets attended to. We'll step aside. And some secondary help here for the defense in the nickel on third and long. Set, left 35, left 35. The first throw for Henny, the veteran backup. This is caught, Watkins. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. We'll see Kelsey in the slot to the left. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Damian Williams taking it in. And the Chiefs are able to draw a bit closer. And that touchdown puts us in a position to have a discussion, doesn't it? Now it'll be a two-score game after the conversion. Yeah, I mean, there's no doubt with a two-score game, they're going to have to onside kick it. We'll just see if they've got a miracle up their sleeve. And you wonder what onside Let's kicks go they're now. going to use right, and in what sequence right, if they hope to have a chance to win this game. Now hitting. And his throw is going to be incomplete. So unable to throw it in for two from the two. Let me ask you, as a former DB, what changes there around the goal line on a two-point conversion as far as how you're defending it? You just make sure you never back up and you never retreat. You, you establish yourself really on the line of scrimmage, put your heels on the goal line at worst. And if they're going to throw the ball, make them throw it over your head because they're going to run out of space because of the back of the end zone. Never let a guy catch one in front of you. 
So two scores down, time definitely not an ally, but here comes the onside kick. And the hands team for the Rams able to secure the football. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. They run, it's Gurley. And he's gonna fight his way forward here for a modest gain. And the Chiefs are gonna signal for and be granted another timeout as they get the stoppage with 65 seconds remaining. to go in the football game. Totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Three down, three down. Go, so not, 180. The Rams go victory formation as they take the knee. should put a conclusion to this one. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about <laughs> doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? And the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. Well, I know at points of this when you wanted to close your eyes because of all the points that were being put on the scoreboard, you're a defensive guy, but it was a fun little track meet, wasn't it? It was, and you know the people who really enjoyed this game? They're the ones that like going to batting practice at the Major League Baseball <laughs> parks, right? Seeing the 14-11 to 11 game, that sort of deal, that's right up their alley with what we saw in this one. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. The Rams are victorious here as we say so long from Exposition Park.